Okay guys, this is going to be a quick video on how to um, generate a an SSH key using PuttyGen to link to your GitHub account and SSH into your common device after the update to 0.8.3. Um, it takes about a minute and no real discernible skills because I don't have any real discernible skills. One thing I will say before we get started is to make sure that you've gone into your, your common device settings, developer settings, authorized SSH keys, um, add your GitHub name, make sure you spell it right, make sure you click save, make sure it doesn't give you an error because if it does, you won't be able to, um, you won't be able to, to log in. So I'm going to go ahead and assume you have PuTTY already installed. Um, if you don't, I'll leave a link to the to the, the files you need to install in the video description. But to get started, you're going to want to find PuttyGen, and you can do it just by typing in PuttyG in your in your start menu there. Open it up. So we want to generate a new key, but first we want to make sure we have ED25519 selected. Click Generate. Move your mouse to uh, create some randomness, it tells us. So you take this, what's in the public key box right here, and you just want to copy that. So now we're going to go over to our GitHub account. Make sure you're logged in. And we'll go down to settings. And then we'll find SSH and GPG keys. We're going to make a new SSH key. And we'll call it video, because we're making a video. And you're going to paste in what you just copied click add all right you're done with github at this point you don't need to worry about it you can close it out so we want to save the private key um i don't usually put a passphrase you can if you want to so we'll call this one video as well just so it'll match click save all right so now comes the easy part uh, we'll close this out now, before you get ready to SSH in, I implore you once again to make sure you have gone to Settings, Developer Settings, Authorize SSH Keys, um, entered your GitHub username, click Save, click Edit again to make sure it's in there, then click Save again because I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but mine tends to randomly disappear. So, But once we've done that setup, open up PuTTY, put in your IP address, 022 same as always go down here select the key we just made click open wait for a better result than that close the session again let's try that again Okay, work that time. Put in pretty, pretty princess. That's important. So now we're in. Um, with that, you're you're all done. You can do everything the same way you could before. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Maybe I can help. Um, and join our losers Discord if you if you have any more simple questions like this.